So recently I actually made a video on how to earn money through freelancing with graphic designing and Blender or motion graphics. And in that video, I did get a positive response by the way. But in that video, one of the most commonly asked questions was that how do I even approach graphic designing or 3D modeling or 3D rendering in Blender? How do I even start learning that? And this is something that I can, I can think that a lot of beginners can relate to this. And the reason for that is because after you complete the whole Blender donor tutorial, you don't really have any idea of what to do next. There is not, you know, a step one, step two guide as to telling you what to learn next. So within this video, I'm going to give you a rough roadmap of how you can follow learning Blender and how you can be advanced in the Blender as well. So yeah, I'm going to actually give you a timestamp within the video so you can jump if you are already an advanced artist. So without any further ado, let's begin. So the first tip for learning Blender, especially if you have already completed the Blender donor tutorial, because let's be honest here, it is a given that you should follow the Blender donor tutorial. Now, I know that some people consider the donor tutorial to be overrated, but that is absolutely not the case. In my opinion, if you really do complete the donor tutorial, you will have that confidence of, yes, I can learn Blender. Yes, I can create something because the donor tutorial is kind of a very finely tempered sword, you know, you have to use it very carefully. But once you do learn how to use it, you are going to have a confidence that was not going to be built otherwise. And so following the Blender donor tutorial is absolutely fundamental because it will give you a whole idea of how to navigate within the user interface of Blender. But not only that, once you do complete the Blender donor tutorial, I will actually recommend that you jump to the Blender house making tutorial. There is a whole tutorial about how to make houses in Blender and how to make buildings in Blender. And one of the tutorials is actually by the Blender guru himself. And within that tutorial, he gives an in-depth overview of how you can create a scenery and this tutorial actually helps you build a lot of confidence. I followed through this tutorial fully and this is an amazing tutorial. It will give you knowledge about how to add surface imperfections etc which are all fundamental skills that you need in order to be able to build confidence within Blender. So yeah, I think following that house building tutorial after the Blender donor tutorial is going to be your first step of learning Blender. Now, the second big thing, which is going to be a little controversial is learning hard surface modeling. A lot of people consider hard surface modeling to be kind of hard, <laughs> ironically, but that's not really the case. Hard surface modeling is not that hard, to be honest. If you really want to make complicated objects, then of course, hard surface modeling is going to be complicated, but you don't have to. What I recommend is that when you finally do dive into hard surface modeling, start by modeling low poly objects objects that don't have a lot of detail that will actually help you to build the confidence that yes, you are going to be able to build big sceneries or create something of your own. Because let's be honest here, 3D modeling, once you do learn how to do it, is kind of very satisfying to do. Learning to model hard surface objects such as cars, vehicles or robots in general, these are the things that are going to help you even making houses for example you can actually just apply those basic hard surface modeling skills into making a whole scenery that is going to be a low poly scenery and you will still have the confidence that you finally are able to create something within blender so yeah hard surface modeling is kind of a very underrated skill another thing that you do need to learn with hard surface modeling is going to be texturing UV unwrapping and adding surface imperfection. One of the biggest things that Blender beginners are going to struggle with is to follow a lot of tutorials. But the thing is, the more you want to learn, the more tutorials you have to follow. Like even till date, even after using Blender for almost two years and more, I am still following tutorials to this date and I am learning something new every day. So yeah, do not hesitate to learn from tutorials, especially follow hard surface modeling and texturing tutorials. And so the third step and probably the hardest thing that you are going to learn as a beginner is going to be animation and rigging. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because by this point, I am expecting you that following the step one, you are able to make something of your own. Following the step two, you are maybe able to make vehicles or robots. Now with animation and rigging skills, you will finally be able to use those models and make a animation out of this. And so, following tutorials of how to make inverse kinematics and that is IK rigging 
these are going to help you extremely and so in my opinion what you need to do is start with the basics of rigging do not start with rigging objects such as people you know because rigging people requires weight painting and that is kind of an advanced skill now i do know that there is a auto weight paint uh, method in blender as well with that said in general in blender you are going to struggle if you are going to uh, rig organic objects so in my opinion rigging hard objects such as cars or bikes and making those those rigs be able to work with the environment is going to develop your skills on another on another level and once you do learn about ik rigging and rigging in general you finally start to build that confidence of yes i can make an animation and then you can go into actually developing your own cinematics and so if you really follow these three steps you will actually go from being a beginner to at least an intermediate with animation skills with modeling skills and your exceptional texturing skills but there is one thing that you do need to keep in mind and that is you the thing is that learning blender is kind of a skill that requires a lot of zen it like requires a lot of patience and that is in short supply these days so yeah when you are learning blender you have to be patient you have to follow a lot of tutorial and it's going to get hard when you follow tutorials all the time and you feel like you are not getting a lot from them but trust me that is how you are going to learn from blender now if you are someone who has already completed all of these tutorials you are finally a intermediate person in blender and in general in 3d animation one of the biggest advantages of learning blender is that this software actually gives you insight of how you can learn other softwares because blender can literally do anything so yeah once you have been to this point now you can learn advanced skills and more sophisticated skills so what do you do next well the step one is going to be to develop your modeling skills even further start by modeling clothes within blender start by modeling hard surfaces that are even more complicated you can actually follow the tutorials made by aryan for hard surface modeling those tutorials are advanced but if you actually get how he is doing what he is doing you will be exceptionally good at hard surface modeling and so when you start modeling in detail that is when you finally start to develop skills with modeling that are going to get you a job now after learning a lot of these skills people still make renders and animation that look lackluster and so for those people who are already up until this point have learned all of these skills sh they should finally dive into lighting and compositing and even color grading these are the things that are going to bring your render and your animations to a whole new level when you finally light up a scene well when you finally color grade a scene well it finally starts to look a lot more like professional rather than a beginner made render i have sometimes seen people who have similar skills but still make vastly different qualities of render and the biggest differences are usually lighting render quality and compositing so yeah learning about how to approach render settings how to actually light up your scene well these are things that are going to help your composition a lot more now for learning lighting and compositing properly i would suggest that you follow ian hubert he is probably the best person to learn blender from and to get inspired from he has a whole youtube channel and i will actually highly recommend joining his patreon and he gives a lot of in-depth tutorials on how to approach some of the most photorealistic renders in blender and yeah those tutorials are exceptionally advanced so yeah you cannot do those if you have not learned previous skills with that said if you do follow his tutorials you are going to go on a another level of how to make renders and animations now after you have learned so many skills you will actually have the confidence of being able to make your own cinematics and that is going to be the next thing start working on your project no matter how ambitious it is it might be very ambitious although i will say that being extremely ambitious as a beginner is not going to help you but start by doing something that is going to help you create something that you can call your own but at the same time looks professional one of the examples for this is that you can start creating movie scenes i am actually working on a jurassic park scene within blender and a video for that is going to come soon 
so yeah making your own cinematics even if you are following another cinematic even you know word to word you are still going to build skill and you are still going to build the confidence that yes i can do something in blender and yeah that is definitely going to make you an advanced artist because replicating a cinematic even if that exists prior to what you have made still is going to bring your skills to that same level because you have finally learned how to light up your scene well how to composite it and how to color grade it now a bonus tip for those who have gotten this far this is the something that you can apply to every software not just blender and that is to follow some of those people who don't directly give you tutorials but actually give you insight on a lot of things so one of the things that you can do to yourself is that you can watch videos made by corridor crew they actually make a lot of videos around how they made their short films and how they approached certain technical aspects of their short films they also make these videos about render challenges and i think these videos are exceptionally great while i do know that most people watch these videos for entertainment if you are an artist and animator yourself these videos actually hold a lot of value for you they actually break down pretty much each and every technical process of their making and that is exceptionally underrated so yeah this is kind of a rough road map of how you can learn blender if you have any tips you can leave them down in the comments below and i hope you have a good one